One of the cutest moments came early this year when seven-year-old Graydon Silva called and asked me to test the Pledge Fabric Sweeper for pet hair. His reaction to the test was priceless. So would you buy it? I wouldn't buy it that much. In 2008, three-year-old Brendan Graham showed us how very excited he was about making little pancakes using the Pancake Puffs pan. You, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up. And there was a lot of loving in the air at the Pennsylvania Bureau of Women's Leadership Committee's Ladies' Day Out. I came here to put the one-touch jar opener to the test, but left with much more. Sunny boy! <laughs> The yuckiest moment came in 2006 when we put urine gone, pet stain, and odor eliminator to the test and got up close with, well, you know what. The worst moment in terms of how a product performed was also in 2006. The Pasta Express was supposed to cook pasta in a tube-like thing just by adding boiling water. Well, in our test, it didn't. Not what I saw on the... Right. Commercials. The funniest moment came when the Pro Color Accents battery operated temporary hair color wand got caught in then Froggy 101 DJ Kelly Green's hair. The wackiest moment came in 2007 testing the shredder scissors. Corliss, Allie, and Diane at District Justice Claypool's office in Monroe County took time out from their busy schedule to help us out. We just got to the point where Corliss was going to tell me what she thought about him, and then you called. <laughs> Can she call you back? All right, all right. The most controversial moment happened when we put the forearm forklifts to a doesn't really work test. I gave him a thumbs down and was bombarded with, Sherman, you didn't test him right. But perhaps the moment that set the tone for doesn't really work happened in 2004, testing out the new and improved slip and slide when I went down the slide and closed. 